In this video, I'm going to talk about injection molding. The topics which I'm going to discuss today are injection molding machines, the process by which products are made using injection molder, the critical parameters of injection molding cycle, and advantages and disadvantages of injection molding. So let's begin with injection molding machine. Injection molding machine is a highly sophisticated machine, but it can be divided into three main sections or unit, injection unit, mold and clamping unit. Each unit like injection unit made of several parts like injection unit consists of motors, hopper, screw, heating element, valve and other each of this unit performs a specific task during injection molding cycle the task of injection unit is melting the polymer and then injecting into the mold cavity similarly the mold performs two main tasks first one it provides shape to the product and also it helps to cool the molten polymer into a solid product. Similarly, clamping unit is responsible for two main tasks. One is called mold mobility. Through this, molds open and closes. And second function is it helps to release the product from the mold. This is a very important function because in absence of automatic product release, continuous operation of injection molding is not possible. So let's now discuss about the injection molding process. This video is an excellent representation of injection molding process. Here we can see that Polymer beads are fed through this hopper and products are coming out of the mold. Now if we look little bit in more detail how the polymer beads are converted into plastic parts, we can see that polymers are first fed through this hopper which gets melted inside the extruder. The molten polymer gets is accumulated in front of the extruder. During this time we can also see that the extruder moves in the backward direction. This mechanism is very similar to the syringe. While operating syringe we have seen that the plunger is moved in the back direction to fill the syringe with the medicine or any other liquid. Then this plunger is pushed forward to inject medicine in our body. Similarly, in case of injection molding, the screw moves in forward direction to inject polymer melt in the mold cavity. Now, to better understand the injection molding process, we can divide the whole injection molding process in four steps. It will also help us to better understand the injection molding parameters in each step which controls the whole process and also quality of the product. First step is melting. In this step polymers which are fed through the hopper gets melted inside the extruder and stored in front of the screw. The parameter which is very important at this step is melt temperature. Usually extruders are kept at 40 to 50 degrees C higher than the melting temperature of polymer. But the temperature can be lower or higher depending upon the additive present in the polymer. If a polymer contains 
lubricant the temperature should be lower otherwise the melt viscosity will be too low similarly if the polymer contains nanofillers or reinforcing filler then the temperature should be higher so that it the polymer can have sufficient viscosity second step is injection in this step the screw moves forward and injects polymer inside the mold cavity now the question is how much polymer need to be injected and second is how fast we need to inject the polymer so the two parameters which is very important in this step is short size which is also called injection volume and the injection speed now let's discuss these two parameters in little bit more detail when polymer gets injected in the mold the polymer need to fill the whole mold cavity like sprue volume runner volume and also the product volume melts when undergoes cooling it also leads to shrinkage so when calculating short size we also need to take polymer sh shrinkage in the calculation now two condition may arise the short size may be smaller than the mold cavity which is called short short size this will lead to underfill second condition is when the short size is higher than the mold cavity in this case flash will occur here the picture demonstration of the flash ideal volume so the ideal injection volume will be mold cavity plus shrinkage the next question is how fast we would like to fill the mold cavity it is always desired to fill the mold as fast as possible because it leads to higher efficiency of the injection molding process but at very high injection speed it leads to jetting which deteriorates the product quality so the injection speed will be an optimum value between efficiency and the product quality third step in the injection molding process is called packing and cooling in this step polymer melt is compressed to get better product uniformity at the same time polymer melt is cooled to a solid product two parameters which are very important in this step are injection pressure and cooling time higher injection pressure leads to better packing and better uniformity of the product but injection pressure need to be balanced by the clamping pressure clamping pressure is the pressure between the two mold section if injection pressure is much higher than the clamping pressure it will lead to flashing therefore injection pressure is decided based on the maximum clamping pressure of the injection molding machine similarly cooling time is an optimized value between injection molding efficiency and product quality typically a higher mold temperature leads to product with better strength and gloss but higher mold temperature requires longer cooling time so depending upon the product quality requirement cooling time is decided but usually it ranges from 5 second to 20 second the fourth step is ejection in this step the moving section of the mold moves backward and opens the mold during this time the ejector pin pushes the product out of the mold the product is then collected at the bottom of the machine in this step the important parameter is ejector pin speed a lower speed will be unable to remove the product from the mold 
but a higher pin speed will leave a pin mark on the product. So the ejector pin speed is optimized to achieve desired performance and product quality. So during injection molding process, polymer beads are converted into plastic parts in four steps, melting, injection, cooling and ejection. The key parameters during injection molding processes are melt temperature, short size, injection speed, mold temperature, injection pressure and cooling time. These parameters are highly optimized to achieve continuous production of parts. Now let's discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of injection molding. Injection molding is one of the most versatile and efficient product manufacturing process. However, it also suffers from some limitations. Some of the advantages and disadvantages of injection molding are listed here. One of the major advantages of injection molding is fast production. Once injection molding parameters are optimized, product manufacturing time is only few seconds. Another very important benefit of injection molding is low labor cost since most of the industrial process are automated. Injection molding also offers design flexibility and use of multiple materials. Stages of injection molding are it can be used to produce very small parts, it leaves little scrap and reduces requirement of finishing. Because of its automated operation, product quality is very consistent. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of injection molding. Another critical disadvantage of injection molding is restriction in part design. Because shape and size of the part is restricted by the mold size and injection pressure. Also, the small run of injection molding machine is very costly because one of the costly part of the injection molding machine is its mold and one mold is only good for one type of product. So if we produce only small lots of part, it will not be economical. Although injection molding machines suffer from some limitation, but if we compare advantages and disadvantages of injection molding, it become very clear that whenever possible, it is always advisable to use injection molding for manufacturing plastic products. If you have any question or need further clarification on any section, please comment below. Please do encourage us by subscribing to our channel Polymer World. Thank you for watching this video.